Welcome, 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 Collective. Back here again with another general intuitive energy read. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day, night, evening, whatever time it is on uh, where you are in the world. Uh, sending love and high vibrations to you all. Thanks for tapping in. And <laughs> thanks for tapping in, everyone. I, I really appreciate you guys uh, for your uh, like shares, your subscriptions. If this is your first time here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Just cleansing the energy here. Yeah, I was getting that somebody's losing their composure um, about something here. I'm getting that they're genu genuinely remorseful about something. Okay, wow. Maybe something you've been curious about is what I'm getting here. Yeah, so let's tap in, uh, Phil Masculine. Divine gods and goddesses and see what this is, okay? Hmm. Let's hear for the collective. You wanted somebody to be honest in your relationship here? You're looking for honesty? Okay, you're in a commitment with somebody and you want them to be completely honest with you, but they're losing their composure for some reason, but they're they are genuinely remorseful. Okay. Wow, I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. Somebody, I don't know. Somebody thought, I don't know. Something about a possibility. Okay. They were hoping that their person was being honest with them, you know, so they wouldn't have to, you know, separate from them or something like that. But something, I mean, you know, if they find, if somebody finds what whatever this is, out there somebody's done okay because somebody's gonna be able to see through something here you know somebody's been honest with them or not i'm getting that they're genuinely remorseful but they did do something here okay and they're not going to be able to face you um they can't keep their composure is what i keep getting here you're they're fighting against something here all right something they don't want you to see something they don't want you to find out about so what is this Holy Spirit? Ooh, because then they know that you will separate from them. Okay. And they're 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 really fighting this thing hard so you won't find out. I don't know how they somebody losing their composure collector. That's all I can tell you. And they whatever they did, they are genuinely remorseful, but we're gonna find out what they did because you would definitely, you know, um break free from this um commitment, this relationship, or whatever you find out what your person done here. So we got to tap in to see what they've done. Because, yeah, it would be real sensitive to you. Okay. Why well, you would think that they were being insensitive. Okay. With what they've done. Like, they didn't um, have you in mind. Or they didn't think about you before um, doing this. Whatever this is. Okay. It's very touchy. I'm getting It's a touchy situation here. Okay. Yeah. It's very sensitive. Um, and, they, and you feel... When you find this out, you're going to feel like your person was being very insensitive. Okay. And this is why they're losing their composure around you. Okay. Somebody somebody can't can't keep that shit together right about now. So what's here, Holy Spirit? What's collective needs to know? What they needs to be aware of? Whoa. Hmm. Yeah, somebody's in balance right here. Okay, somebody somebody knows when you find this out, is you 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 you're probably gonna tell them to get out your face. Okay, is what I'm getting here. The number 41 could be significant. Okay, the month of December, um, March 2nd. Okay, um, the number 32, April 1st. Okay, somebody's praying like, I mean, literally praying that you don't find this out. So what's here? Because, yeah, they're, off, they're really off balance. Like, this person can't face you like eye to eye. They can't look you in the face, whoever this is, okay? Wow. Yeah, they're shame. Or whatever this is, they did. Okay? But you're going you're gonna to find out. You're going to get the inside scoop on whatever this is. Are you going to take a closer look? Mm-hmm. Or somebody going to tell you somebody that's all up in your business? Okay. They can be letting you know what's going on. Uh, somebody's person did something that they're ashamed of. Here. 
What's here, Holy Spirit? What's collective need to know? Yeah, karmic friends. Okay, there's a lot of tension going on here with somebody in their relationship. There, there's, there's secret competition for somebody here. Okay, this could be a friend of yours here that's in competition with you, uh, with your person here. Yeah, um, this person, this karmic person, this karmic friend of yours could have bad habits, and one of them is being sleeping with your person here. Okay, wow. For some of you guys, um, this is a, a toxic karmic that your, your person has hooked up with and has got your person um, hooked on drugs, okay, for some of you. Okay, I got them addicted to something here. What else is your spirit? But yeah, this is somebody that, you know, that can't be trusted, okay. Um, definitely karmic friends, all right. Your person can't keep their composure. They're really off balance here, okay? They're really off balance. There's something that they're trying to hide from you, keep from you. They don't want you to find out about this. <laughs> Maybe they did something with one of your enemies is what I'm getting here. Maybe this is somebody you had tension with before, you know, somebody that you didn't trust or you may have let your person know that you couldn't fully trust this person. This is an enemy of yours is what I'm getting here. Hmm. Yeah, somebody's needing money here. Or maybe somebody's waiting on some money. Or maybe somebody's been spending too much money with this karmic ass friend. And maybe this karmic ass uh, friend that your person been dealing with has some type of addiction here. And your person has been supporting their habit here. That's what I'm getting here. So let's see what this is. Yeah, your person definitely don't want you to find this out. Your person has a secret obsession with this person. Even though this person may be um, toxic or, you know, they may not have the things that you have or whatever. Your person is, is, is uh, secretly obsessing with this person here. Okay. Yeah. And this person, your person doesn't know that this karmic that they're dealing with, that this karmic is very dramatic. Okay. The want to be seen uh, type, you know, just the one that hangs out with the crowd, okay? But this is an enemy of yours, so this is possibly somebody that you know or somebody that you may be aware of collected because this person is definitely holding a grudge here. And they will say anything um, to your person to keep your person's attention here, okay? They will say anything and do anything. Or they make some stuff up. They're just very dramatic. But for some reason, your person is, is obsessing with this person here. And they can't hold their composure because they're afraid that you're about to find out. You know that this is your enemy that they have been uh, sleeping with here. <laughs> yeah, your person is really off balance. Like, they can't look you in your eyes. Okay? If you were to ask them uh, where they're messing around with one of your enemies or somebody that you told them that you couldn't fully trust, you know, they couldn't look you in your in your eyes and tell you that no, because they are. They are cheating with this person. And they're secretly obsessing um, over this person too. And this person holds a grudge against you, collective. This is one of your karmic friends or somebody you told your person that you didn't fully trust here. Okay, the masculine. Take how it resonates. Okay, do the rest for someone else. If it doesn't fit, you know, let it go. Yeah, somebody made somebody an offer here. Okay, somebody that don't like you, collective, made your person an offer here. But see, it was a dirty offer because this person is holding a grudge against you here. Okay, wow. But see, your person is, I don't know, smitten by this thing and karmic or something. You know what I'm saying? Why? Because your person fantasizes about this person. They secretly obsess this per, uh, about this uh, karmic here. Okay? And this is somebody that you wouldn't even think that your person would be interested in. Wow. I'm hearing the one that's in plain sight. The one that's in plain sight. Okay? Wow. Wow. And your person is in regret, you know, uh, for messing with this person because they know that you and this person po possibly don't like each other. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, your your your, your person don't want you to know that they had a a love affair with one of your um, enemies with this karmic here or somebody you told your person you couldn't fully trust. Okay. And your person can't hold their composure because the, this is your person's secret lover. Your enemy is your person's secret lover. Wow. Mm -hmm. Your enemy is your person's secret lover or somebody that you can't fully trust. As a major person to offer, but it was a dirty offer because this person holds a grudge against you. Okay, and this is a, a person that you at least suspect your person to be with here. Okay, so we're going to go a little deeper in here and see what's here. What else is here? Yeah, this karmic major person to offer, but it was a dirty offer. I don't, I don't think, yeah, this is why your person probably can't hold their composure because... They know that this person, or they're just not figuring out this person has holding, been holding a grudge against you. Okay, maybe they had a discussion or something like that about you. And your name came up and this karmic expressed how they felt about you. That you guys may have had some tension between um, one another. Or, or you guys are enemies. Or this is, you know, you just don't trust this person or you don't like this person, you know. It was something about them that you didn't like, you know. Something about their vibe was off. But your person surely had their eye on them, on this karmic here, and and and, and got in a uh, secret love affair with them. Yeah, this karmic is a happiness hater. Yeah, this is somebody that you know, or that you know of. Okay, this is somebody that you know of, but you don't be around this person, but you know of this person. Okay, is what I'm getting here. Okay, one more spirit. Your person is genuinely remorseful because this is somebody you at least expect them to be having a love affair with. Wow. And this person did this shit out of spite. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Looking for some dirt on you collective here. Okay. Holding a grudge. Like, you know, so they could, like, tell, go, go around and gossip and tell people that they slept with your person or something like that, you know. Wow. The usual, you know, talking mess or whatever. You know what I'm saying? This is what the karmic is doing. Trying to dim your light. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you're you a star. Like, whoever you are, you know, this person can't stand you because it's something about you that's so beautiful and so handsome that it irritates this uh, person's demons here. Your light irritates their demons is what I'm getting here. They hate to see you happy. But they got to your person. Okay? They have been asking around. You know about you and your person and this is what drew them to your person and your person fell for um what do you call it the the bait you know what i'm saying and got hooked hooked up with this person here and now this person is also um telling your person that they're gonna tell you about the the relationship that they had with your person here and this is why your person can't hold their composure around you. Because they don't know if this karmic is going to actually, you know, tell you or find a way to get this, this information to you or not. You know, because whoever this karmic is, is somebody that don't like you. Okay. They're, they're uh, an enemy of yours. It's somebody you probably told your person you didn't trust. Somebody that you, you know, would think your person wouldn't be interested in. Okay. They got with your person on purpose. Like, they did this out of spite, you know. Wow, well, I'd have been envious of you. They had an affair with your person. Wow. But you would have never thought that your person would have even went towards this person. Or even, you know, had a romantic love affair with this person. Okay. Because this is somebody that your person wouldn't even be interested in. You would think. But they've been asking a lot of questions. Because see, you was happy. You happy, collective. Or you was happy with this person if y'all still together. This is past, present, and future energy here. This person been holding a grudge against you. Talking about you to other people. Talking about how they had a love affair with your person. 
how they made the offer to your person and your person took it up. You know what I'm saying? Like, everything is dirty about this karmic. Like, I'm talking about the way they think, the way they went about doing things, the way they, you know, how they went behind your back. Like, knowing that y'all probably not even, you know, like each other. You may not even know this person. Like, but they don't like you because you shine, whoever you are. Give me that. You shine. Your light, your taste, your demons here. Yeah, your person been creeping with this karmic. And this karmic, karmic is planning on using this uh, information against your person. To come and tell you. They're asking questions about you. And see, your person is all in their head right now because they don't know what to think. They're stressing. They're stressing out. Because they're, they're afraid you're about to find out about their love affair here. Okay. Wow. They're ashamed. They're genuinely remorseful. Okay. Wow. And this karmic also got like pictures of them and your person and them together. Okay. Some type of photo proof or something like that. To show you. Are they going to get it to you some type of way here? Let's see. What's here? We got cock blocking fake smiles. Okay. Yeah. You're a karmic person here. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, this this karmic thought that they hit the jackpot with your person here. Okay. They want to let you know that your person wasn't only into you, but that your person was into them too. Okay, from masculine. Wow. They just wanted to say that, you know, saying they slept with your person. And they want to go around telling everybody they slept with your person. I don't know. I guess to like uh, try to uh, character assassinate you or something like that, you know. Yeah, they'll even make some shit up. You know what I'm saying? They'll add some shit on to it. You know, this is a, a dramatic karmic. Uh, this karmic is very, very dramatic. Okay, this karmic also has some type of bad habit here. Or just, you know, very, very toxic in nature, you know. But they want to go spread the news that, you know, <laughs> they had a sex sexual love affair with your person here. They made your person an offer, but your person may not have known that it was a dirty offer. Maybe your person didn't even know this person was holding a grudge against you. Okay, but your person did, you know what I'm saying, sleep with this karmic. Okay, and then this karmic started asking a lot of questions about you that may have alarmed your person. And this is why your person can't look you in your eyes and or they can't hold their composure. Or they can't, you know, even like speak to you if you guys are in separation or something like that, you know. Yeah. They found out this person didn't like you. They didn't know it going in. But they found out once they slept with this person that this person truly didn't like you. Okay. Wow. They were just obsessed with your person here. And obsessed with getting back at you. For whatever reason. Okay. Wow. This this karmic is, is, is very possessive. Like, very possessive. But played out at the same time. Okay. But she thinks she hit the jackpot when she slept with your person. Okay. Wow. Playing games. Okay. Playing games. Mm -mm -mm. Now your person is feeling bad about what they did. Once this karmic um, exposed uh, that they didn't like you. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Your person is, is feeling remorseful uh, now. Genuinely remorseful. What's here, spirit? What's the collective need to know? Oh, that's a lot. Yeah, see, this karma probably recorded everything. Um, she also has pictures of her and your person, or him and your person, him and your person together. Okay, take her resonates, and and they regret that. I'm getting they regret that. Okay. Mm mm mm. What else is here, spirit? They regret that. They see this karmic had this this plan to record everything, you know. Even if it was a voicemail or um, get your person to leave them a voicemail, you know, hold the phone and don't answer just so your person they can have proof that your person have been calling them or something like that, you know. Wow, but they've been asking a lot of questions about you too, collective. 
feminine masculine this karmic has uh the partner of your best friend okay <laughs> the partner of your best friend so this could be the uh, partner of your best friend here and you never think that your person would have uh, had any type of interest in okay be a masculine or feminine Your person went for the offer, but it was a dirty offer. Didn't know this person was holding a grudge against you. Okay. And, and this karmic is somebody you would never, you know, imagine your person uh, <laughs> would sleep with. Because this person ain't no competition for you. Okay. There ain't no competition for you. That's why your person feels so shame. Okay. If this was a, you know, like a... a Damn, your person feels shame because they put you in competition with with somebody you know. With somebody you know. And this grudge holding karmic is stalking and following you collective. Okay. Somebody that you wouldn't even think your person was interested in. Okay. This is somebody you could have done business with. Okay. Some type of business. All right. What else is here? Mrs. for the collective. Yeah, your person is very remorseful. Like they wanna they wanna um tell you they're sorry for you know like drifting off here. Okay. Wow. For some reason this could be a masculine. Alright. Your person could just, you know, like start crying, have some type of emotional outburst, you know, or something like that. Because you know who this person is. Alright. It says you know who they are. You know. They were in competition with you. This grudge holder. Okay. Your person is remorseful. Because your person didn't know this person felt this way about you. And now they're afraid that this person is going to expose what they did. Okay. With this karmic. They're afraid this karmic is going to expose what. You know. That they had a love affair with your person. Okay. This could, like I said, this could possibly be somebody that you've done business with before. All right. Yeah, your person is definitely stressing out here. What else is here, spirit? This is somebody you probably told your person you didn't really trust, too. I don't know. This could be another masculine. Or it could be somebody in masculine energy here. Okay. What else is here, spirit? Something about a parking lot or a garage or something like that. Hmm. What's significant about a parking lot or a garage, spirit? Please clarify. Okay, I'm getting that your person may have met them in a parking lot or they may, you know, like wherever they work at, they may have met in some sort of parking garage, you know, like on the job or something like that. And this has something to do with their work or business or something like that. If there's a parking garage, this, this is where um, they hooked up with this person. Wow. Dang, collective. This person, this this karmic one to do death spells on you. And when I see this looking 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 uh for dirt on you, okay. And this person is in a graveyard digging up dirt. This person may be doing some kind of like, I don't know. What do you call it? Voodoo, voodoo, whatever you call that shit, you know what I'm saying? Mmm. They want you out the way. I mean, when I say they got their eyes on you, they got their eyes on you. And, and this person, I don't know, this person get high or something because their eyes are like red, you know, like they're not white like they're supposed to be. The white of their eyes is kind of red, okay? Is what I'm seeing here. It says, playing Captain Save-A-Hoe. So, your person might have been playing Captain Save-A-Hoe with this person here, 
Um, that could have something to do with the parking lot or the garage. Um, this person could, the car could have broke down or something like that. And this is how they made an offer to your person, but your person didn't realize it was a dirty offer because they didn't realize this is one of your enemies or somebody that you didn't fully trust anyway. Okay. That wants to be in competition with you. All right. This person wants to do death spells on you. Like, wow. Your person can't hold their composure now because they're afraid this karmic is going to tell you. They don't, they don't even trust the karmic anymore. Yeah, your person wants you to give them one more chance, especially if you have uh, found this out already, okay? They're genuinely remorseful is what I'm getting here. <sighs> See, they lost control of the situation here, okay? Because I'm getting this the, uh, hot and heavy. Like, this was some hot and heavy... <laughs> <laughs> romantic stuff that went on here with you and your person your person and this karmic here it was hot and heavy your person lost control when the offer was made i guess i mean you know like i don't know what i'm getting at what you call it in the heat of the moment type stuff right there but see your person didn't realize it was a dirty offer i don't know i don't know what your, your i don't know what your person was thinking about when they did this okay because you know who this person is okay It says the partner or best friend. They partner or best friend. So it's somebody's partner or best friend. Or it could be your partner or your best friend or your person's partner or their best friend. Something like that. See, it's work related. I'm getting this work related too. For some of you, okay, it's work related because I'm, I'm getting this parking lot, this or this garage, like a parking garage, like where you, we, you know, maybe in a downtown area or something like that. All right, a metropolitan area. I don't know. Yeah, whew. it's a lot of hot passion and sex going on here. She got a lot more serious than you can imagine. Your person lost control. And he didn't realize that this karmic was going to uh, flip the script. And and was doing everything because they were, you know, doing everything with your person because they wanted to get back at you. Whoever this person is, despise you. They want to do death spells on you, collective. This person stay thinking the ways of how to uh, dim your light. But they can't. You're protected. Hmm. What else is here? Spirit. And maybe this is somebody you know you don't do business with, okay? And maybe this is why you, you, you wouldn't even think that your they may be mad at you because of that. You know what I'm saying? Um, could be one of the reasons you know they wanted to get back at you and, and call itself being in competition with you uh from masculine. I don't know. Like I said, it could be work related. But somebody wanted to play uh <laughs> Captain Save a Ho here. Mm-hmm. A low budget karmic that sleeps with anybody here. Okay, so this person just sleeps around. Okay. Wow. Watch your back because you know you're protected, but still, you know what I'm saying? If you have to go through a parking garage or something like that, or a parking lot, uh, when you get off work, just just know that you got a hater around okay and i did see sneak attack i'm gonna see if it come out because i did see sneak attack i'm not trying to scare anybody or anything like that but i have to give you uh what spirit gives me okay yeah it says a simple yes or no question hold on let me see so your person is remorseful it says it will never happen again okay but i did see sneak attack so this person may uh i don't know May try to sneak attack you or your person here. Karma got with your person to antagonize you. Yeah, so they got with your person um, to antagonize you. And see, so your person lost control and it got hot and heavy. And wow. And you know who they are. Like this. What else is here? Uh, yeah, I've seen sneak attack again because it says watch your back. Okay. I don't know if that came out here twice. Well, it just says watch your back. All right. But you are divinely protected. Okay. That's why Spirit is giving you this message. Especially if you're hearing this message, you, you better know that you're protected. Okay. Collective. 
Because this will surprise you when you find out who this person is. Your person is real, real, real uncomfortable right about now. Wow. Hmm. This person wanted to take your person from you. Like they thought that they could actually be in competition with you. Get rid of you. And there's no such thing as stealing your person. But this person in their head. They overthink. Okay. They think that they could steal your person from you. That's crazy. It says. I told you they did it out of spite. They hold a grudge against you collective. They did it out of spite. What else is here? Yeah, your person may be crying. Okay. Or just like can't hold their composure because they know that you know who this person is. Okay. Somebody that you would think your person would not be interested in at all. All right. Oh, and this karma plans on getting dramatic. All right. This karmic plans on getting dramatic. Is what I'm getting here. Somebody here speaks more than one language here. Are we picking up on here? What else is here, spirit? The number four could be significant. Somebody could have had a dream about them, their person cheating on them. Hmm. What wasn't a dream is because you're this is you. It wasn't a dream. Uh, it was spirit trying to nudge you to let you know something was going on. Okay. Because it says watch your back. All right. Somebody has lots of tattoos on their body or body piercings here. Okay. So that could be the, the person or this could be somebody baby mama. All right. You could think this, you don't trust this baby mama because you think they're crazy or out of control or or something like that, you know. You never would, you didn't think your person was interested in their baby mama no more, you know. But they have had hot, passionate sex with them or whatever, you know. They did get jiggy, ooh, jiggy with them. Okay. Well. Or this could be your cousin's friend for some of you guys, okay? This could be your cousin's friend that's sleeping with your person. But whoever this karmic is, they got with your person to antagonize you. Could be your cousin's cheating. They could be cheating with your cousin's friend. Or they could be cheating with the baby mama. Okay, or the baby daddy. You know, take how it resonates, okay? It's energy here. But they regret it. They regret doing that shit. Because, you know, they took the offer, but then after the, after the fact, they realized it was a dirty offer that this karmic was only trying to, you know, dim your light, you know, get some dirt on you so they could throw it back in your face if they slept with your person. So now your person feel like they got used by the karmic here. All right. What else is here? This is the energy I'm getting collected. What else is here? Messages for the collective. Messages for the collective. You may have noticed some changes in your person's behavior. <laughs> yeah, like I said, they can't hold their composure or whatever, or their sex life. You know, they might. You might just find them just stopping, and you know, in the middle of it, just staring at you, looking at you. That's because they really want to confess, but they're afraid to because. They don't know when this karma is going to flip and tell you that, you know, they slept with them. You know what I mean? And you know this person. For some of y'all, they cheated with one of your family members, okay? And they think it's going to get out that you're going to find out that they were sleeping with one of your family members, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Mm, this is a sticky situation here. Oh, my goodness. What else is here, Spirit? What else is here for the collective? If it's one of your family members, it's a real sticky situation because this karma held a grudge against you and they slept with your person. 
I don't know. I, I keep getting in the, in um, the what is it, heat of passion and the heat, heat of passion or something like that. And now this person wants to use it against your person, you know, just to, to, to throw mud in your face. Okay. Talk about it, gossip about it. And this is why your person is genuinely remorseful because they didn't know that it was going to go that far. You know, that this person even like, you know, would even go as far to want to do a death spell on you or something like that. They want you totally out the picture here. I do see cemetery. I do see cemetery. Okay. Um, this could be a family member that just wants you out the picture totally. Okay. You may have been curious about this family member and your person. I don't know. This one of your family members could be a little crazy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You could think one of your family members got a mental mental problem or something. Something going on with now. Yeah. Mm. One more spirit. Listen. All three of these came out. Well, a family member. Sneak attack. And I told you I kept saying cemetery. I said maybe they dug up some dirt or something. Um, just try to do a death spell. Like they don't know what they're doing. If they ain't gonna work, it's gonna backfire on their ass. You know what I'm saying? But um, your person couldn't resist the lusting. Okay, and now they're genuinely remorseful because they didn't know that this uh, karmic was in competition with you. They're one of your enemies, somebody that you don't don't even trust. Like I said, it could have been your cousin, your family member, or um. Your friend, uh, somebody you work with here, okay? Wow. Or the partner's, uh, they partner's uh, best friend, okay? They partner or they, or they best friend's partner, okay? Wow. Thank you, Spirit. I don't know. Spirit said they'd be meeting up on the weekend for some of y'all, all right? Let's get a final message out here for the collective. And final messages for the collective, Holy Spirit. Yeah, this karmic, uh, you know what I'm saying, just watch your back because one of them, you know, somebody's, uh, this karmic, there's somebody person dealing with, you know, they make up shit for real. And they got some issues, some mental issues, all right. They could be wanting to just go a little bit too far with this shit. Okay. Trying to do spell work in the graveyard. All right. Your person is in regret for sleeping with this person because they didn't know that they felt this harshly about you collective. Now your person, you know, can't face you. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Yeah. They learned the lesson about being with a third party. This particular third party karmic anyway. Because this one is devious. I mean really devious. Okay. Well. Your person's going to learn a karmic lesson. Because everybody's going to be talking about it. And you're going to find out about it anyway. Okay. Bad news spread fast. That's what I hear. Alright. Mm. Could this karmic couldn't wait to tell everybody. That's why you're, they, they were in competition with you and that they slept with your person. They got a kick out of that shit. And then they watching you. Maybe following you. Okay. This person may just want somebody other picture completely here though. And keeping it real collective. You know what I'm saying? Um, it could very well be one of your family members. Or it could, like I said, it just could be somebody that you don't fully trust. Okay. Like somebody you wouldn't, never thought your person was interested in. Okay. What else? What else? What's the collector need to know? Somebody here could be a realtor here. Mm. So your person know this was forbidden love. Or if it, especially if it was a family member of yours they slept with. Or if it was an enemy of yours they slept with. Okay. They didn't know. Um. That this karmic had these plans up their sleeve to do this dirty shit to you. Only because they were your enemy. Okay. Because they, they can't stand to see you happy whoever you are. 
Okay. You may even move behind this shit. You know what I'm saying? Because it just made the gossip. It may just, you know, get too out of control for you. Or you just made a separate. Uh, if this is family members, you may just separate from this family member. You know. Um. Or if you're living with them, you may leave the house. Or if they ain't living with you, you may ask them to leave the house or something like that. Okay, for some of you, okay. And this could happen in the near future here, the next few days, weeks, or months here. Okay, is what I'm getting here. Yeah, because whoever this karmic is, is nothing but a drama queen or a drama king. All right, it's just energy here. Yeah, they're thirsty for causing chaos here. They just want to cause trouble in your life. All right. They want to say, you know, that they slept with your person. All right. Wow. <laughs> they want the opportunity to tell everybody they slept with your person. And your person is in regret. Gen genuinely remorseful for sleeping with this person. Okay. Because. It... Wow. Because they truly care about you. But in the heat of the moment, they lost control and slept with the karmic. So I don't know how you're going to deal with this with your person here. You know what I'm saying? Especially if y'all have a family, you know, um, y'all have children and so, something like that. And they slept with one of your relatives or the cousin or um, no, your, the partner or the best friend of the partners. Okay. There's somebody that, that didn't like you collective here. Okay. Wow. It was adventurous for them, <laughs> for for this karmic and for your person. And now your person is like really embarrassed, like, like damn, you know, my person gonna find out what I did. Yeah. But I didn't know that your person, did, your person said, well, I didn't know that the karmic didn't really like my person like that, you know. That they would go this far to, you know, like try to sling mud on my person and on me. You know, this is what your person is saying. But yeah, this karmic is very deceitful, very, you know, I don't know. It's very thirsty for trouble. Like, just want to sit back and watch shit happen. Because they're miserable. Want to try to dim your light. Mm, they might even be posting this stuff up on social media just to aggravate you. That's what I'm getting here for some of you. Yeah, this information may come to you and it may hit you as a surprise. That's what Spirit said. It may, you know, cut you off guard or unexpectedly because this is nothing you're expecting here. Okay. This may cause you to even cut off your person or block your person or something like that. All right. Wow. Because for some of y'all, this may be over. You may be done once, once you get this information here. Okay. Yeah, this may be done. But your person is not going to be able to face the truth of what they did. Especially, you know what I'm saying, if it was somebody that you, you, you know and um, somebody that you would have never expected your person to be interested in, let alone have a love affair with. Okay, yeah, your person was being real irrational and they lost control in the heat of the moment. They, you know, had a romantic love affair with this person. All right. There's no reasoning for what they did. Okay, and they learned their lesson, but that's after after they did what they did. You know what I'm saying? And they are genuinely remorseful. Okay, if this ha ha hasn't happened already, it could be happening in the next few days, weeks, or months. Okay, well, you might be cutting this person off, you know, because they put you in competition. With one of your enemies, okay? Maybe you, this is a known enemy, or maybe this is just somebody you thought you couldn't trust, or like I said, somebody you thought your person would never be interested in. But this person, know, this karmic knows you, whoever you are. They know you, all right? All right, that's what I have for you now. Until next time, take care. Peace, and namaste for now.